Hey guys, it is Brandon Baum here. So I teamed up with Adobe to bring you my latest video, Mobile Bartender. This video is part of a series where I break down exactly how that video was made. In this video, I'll be doing the breakdown of how I did the screen replacement all inside of After Effects. So we're just gonna scrub through the footage looking for a nice clean frame where we can see the phone clearly so we can give the tracker as much information as possible. Making sure we've got our layer selected, we're gonna come over to the tracker and hit on track motion. We're then gonna select on track type and hit on perspective corner pin. I'm just gonna zoom in here so I can see our four points a little bit clearer and then drag each one of these corners to a different corner of the screen. Now the aim here is to try and find a point of high contrast. So once we're happy, we're just gonna come over here and select on the analyze forward button. So I'm just gonna let the tracker do its thing here. Perfect, so once we've gotten to the end of our workspace, we're just gonna go forward to that first keyframe and then select on the analyze backwards button. I can see here it's lost its track, so I'm gonna go backwards to our last good keyframe and delete everything before it. Then I'm just gonna go frame by frame analyzing it again, making sure the track stays on each corner. And great, that is all of our tracking data collected. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do is go back into our main composition, select on layer, new and then solid. I'm just going to call this layer screen replace. I'm just going to hide this solid for a second and then select on our main layer and double click back into it again. This is going to take us back to our tracker again where we're going to come to the side, select on edit target and make sure our screen replace layer is selected. Finally, we're going to select on the apply button and we'll see that all of our tracking data is now converted onto this red solid. We can now see that we have this red solid tracked perfectly onto our phone, but we've got an issue. We can see here that the edges of this rectangle are sharp where the edges of our iPhone were rounded. To fix this, we're going to drag our screen replacement layer below our main layer. We're then going to select on our top layer. We're going to go to the effects and presets and hit on key light. We're just going to drag that onto our comp, then use the little eyedropper tool and select on the green. We then want to go up here to our view and change it to screen map and then down to our screen map options. And we want to crush out the blacks and bring up the whites. The idea here is to make sure everything that we want keyed out is black and everything that we don't want keyed out is white. You can see it's giving me hard edges. So I'm just going to soften this by one and if we click final result let's see how it looks perfect so i just want to give myself a little bit of safety room just in case my track came off very slightly at some point and i didn't notice it by going on scale and moving it up to 102 now to actually add images onto the screen replacement i'm going to hit command shift c or control shift c to make a pre-comp i'm just going to call this pre-comp screen replace and hit okay we can now go in and add anything into this pre-comp and it will copy over onto our main layer so to test it i'm just going to add some text and type in brandon's bar make sure that is aligned um, and then how about we throw in a star and again make sure it's aligned brandon's bar so finally if we go back into our main comp we'll see that our design is now tracked perfectly onto the screen make sure to check the link in the description below for the entire playlist of how this video was made and i'll see you on the next one